The Air Force is moving quickly as it investigates mistakes that allowed a gunman to purchase the rifle used to kill 26 people Sunday at a Texas church. The court-martialed airman's conviction was not entered into the database for background checks. Michelle Miller now with more on the heroes who chased down the killer. I was home when I heard the shot. New cell phone video shows a visibly shaken and barefoot Stephen Williford talking to police just moments after shooting and chasing gunman Devin Kelly. Okay, so you think you may have shot shot him? I can't think of any other reason why he took that sign out and ended up in that ditch. Okay. I know I put some well-placed shots. Kelly was found dead in his car with several gunshot wounds, including one to his head that police say was self-inflicted. I said, that the guy jumped in the truck with him and right. we gave chase. What we hit about 95 going down 539 trying to catch this guy. It was filmed by Johnny Langendorf, the man Williford flagged down to help drive after Kelly. I don't even know you, man, and I said, thank you so much. <laughs> Today, as investigators wrapped up forensic work at the site of the massacre, church officials said they're considering knocking down the bullet-ridden building and replacing it with a memorial garden. We put two patients in each ambulance. Lavernia EMS Director Paul Bruner helped treat the wounded inside the church. Based on what you saw, was there any indication the shooter gave anybody any mercy? No, his methodology was meticulous and calculated in total. So no, I don't believe he, he, he didn't want anybody to, to survive. Investigators have returned the property to church leaders. They have made some repairs, erected this chain link fence and shrouded it in black until the congregation can decide on what to do with it. Anthony, this Sunday services will be held just a block away at a nearby community center. Michelle Miller in Sutherland Springs. Thank you. Psalm 50:22. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver you. When one does the simple math, you see numbers don't lie. Math is usually the telltale sign of your performance in your workplace, the managing of your bank account, the calories that you eat. Math doesn't lie. Math simply tells you the truth in terms of numbers. And when one does the math, and when one does the multiplication, the division, the subtraction, one realizes that in 2017 and headed into 2018, this world, this world is headed down a downward spiral where the demonic is visible and plain right in your face. Meet the transgender Americans who won on election day. Folks, when you do the math, America is headed down a downward spiral. The world is headed down a downward spiral. The good has become bad. The bad has become good. And there is no new thing under the sun. But until you realize the powers that you're dealing with, you will be caught up in the political agenda that either you need more guns or you need to take away more guns. That you need more legislations or you need to take away more legislations. What you're dealing with is an enemy that cannot be killed with a nuclear weapon if you wanted to. And that enemy is the father of all lies, Satan. Substitute teacher, 23, physically removed from class over sex allegations with teen student. Are your kids even safe at school nowadays? Because this is happening way too often. Every week. Regular looking women too. Every week. Daddy can be mummy. Womb transplants could allow men to have babies tomorrow, claim expert. We've already known that this was coming, but now it appears that they're ready to do it even tomorrow. Why am I showing you this? Are you exalting the demonic? No, I am not exalting the demonic. I'm doing this to show you who your real enemy is. Ephesians 6.12 tells you, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So when the Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, I think it's safe to understand that it means that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. There was a movie in the 1990s, I believe, it was called Fallen with Denzel Washington. And in that film, there would be a demon inside of one body, and when they would kill that body, that demon would even laugh because, hey, you didn't kill me, and he would just jump into another body, or he would jump into animals. It was crazy. You see, in these days, I recommend that you protect your family as much as you can because people are crazy out there. But let's say, for example, if an intruder walked into your home and you shot him today in self-defense, you protected your family from that threat right there and then, but do you understand that the demons that were inside that person are still alive? And that the force that sent that person is still alive? We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. And that's what I think a lot of people are missing. That we're going up against spiritual wickedness in high places. Columbine is no longer one of the 10 deadliest shootings in modern U.S. history. Did we ever think that we would get to that point? Yet we are here. Yet we are here. Teen mom killed newborn by shoving rock down girls' throats, cops say. Yet we are here. Yet we are at this point. And in moments like these, maybe we can count on the Christian music industry to be there and be a standard for holiness in this country. But what we see from Lecrae is him boosting up Eminem and Beyonce, two people who are so far away from God right now, who are leading so many people so far away from God right now that it's not even funny. What could change a man like Lecrae into this point? Demons. And yet as I say that, I do want to repeat Psalm 50, 22. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. This entire world is without excuse. In doing the math, we've subtracted the biggest part, which is God. And in subtracting Him, what you have now is chaos. Pair arrested after dead child was dumped in Woods, police say. And guess what? These two individuals that got arrested, they're going to go in jail. And unless they repent and turn to Jesus Christ and those demons are casted out of them, they'll still be demonically possessed. But the spirit behind these two men and women is still lurking for another person. It's still lurking for another body. Is still lurking for another vessel. Satan roams around as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. In Mark 5, 2, Jesus encountered an unclean spirit. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. In Mark 5, 9, and he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. You see, the devils, they recognize These demons, they recognized the power of Jesus Christ. And they begged them not to get him out of there. They begged them. And they were begging Jesus. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. A legion of demons was inside one man. Think about that when you walk around your neighborhood. Think about that when you walk around the city. We're dealing with demonic entities all around us. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a gun to protect your family. I'm all for protecting your family. But what I'm trying to explain to you is, is that while you have that gun right next to you, you better have something way better than that. And that is the power of the Holy Spirit. Because that gun can only protect you in that instant right there and then. But do you know that by the power of Jesus Christ, you can cast out demons? We don't want to think about that, though, because, of course, we live in the day in society where healings are no longer done. And so we say, oh, God's no longer doing healings. Casting of devils is no longer done in churches, so hey, I guess God is done with that too. But no, God is still in the rebuking demon business. But you have to submit to God is by the authority and the power of God, and you have to realize and understand who your enemy is. 
And forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. Look at this. And the herd ran violently down a steep into the sea. They were about two thousand and were choked in the sea. Where these demons go, there's death. There's death. There's destruction. Think about the unclean spirits that were inside of this man that Jesus encountered and delivered. Those very same demons are on the loose today. The man that shot up the church. Some say he killed himself, others say he was killed. Whichever regardless happened, the demons inside that man, they're out on the loose searching for a next victim. That is the point that I'm trying to make here today, that we're dealing with a legion. But as we're dealing with these legions of demons, it is imperative for you to understand that Satan is defeated. And that by the power of Jesus Christ, you've been given authority under Jesus' name to cast out devils, to heal the sick in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, Satan has worked really, really hard at you not believing in miracles anymore. Satan has worked really, really hard on getting you not to think that God can deliver anymore. But God is a deliverer. God is a deliverer. I mentioned earlier in this video that not even a nuclear weapon could destroy the enemy that you're facing. Satan. But you know what could? The name of Jesus Christ. There's a name above all names. And there is power in his name. Because Jesus is the only way and because Jesus is God. I've seen sick people healed. I've seen cancer delivered. I've seen alcoholics delivered. I've seen my diabetes go away. I've seen me come out of the hospital in, in, in a state that I shouldn't have come out of. I've seen you. What has God delivered you from? From bad theology? From lust? From wicked ways? Don't tell me the power of God doesn't exist. Oh, it exists. Oh, it is real. And legions fear it. Let's get right with God. Because when we do the math, the odds say that something big is coming. May the Lord rebuke the devil, his witchcraft, his wicked ways. And may all of us get firm in the Lord, living holy for God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we come together in this video in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you convict all of our hearts, mine included, in the name of Jesus, Lord. That you can reveal to all of us all of our wicked ways and all of our sins. That you can reveal to us how we've compromised your word, how we've compromised your holiness, how we've compromised your statutes and commandments. And allow us to live a holy life before you, Lord, because we need you now more than ever in this world, Lord. We need you, Jesus Christ. We need you, Lord. There are some that are watching this that are at that brink that they want to quit because they're backsliding so far that they don't know how to come back home. In the name of Jesus, come back home. If we repent, God is faithful. He will restore you. Come back home. Run no longer. Run no longer in the name of Jesus. There are others who may be experiencing actual relationships with people who are possessed. With spirits of manipulation, with spirit of, spirit of lies and control. Recognize what you are dealing with. It's something that is not about flesh and blood. There's something deeper behind it. Get on your knees and pray. Get on your knees and fast and rebuke in Jesus' name. And don't fear, for Satan is defeated. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. God bless you.